Hey folks, thanks for uh, joining us on another episode of Puff of Cigar. We continue our uh, countdown from uh, Monte Fortuna, montefortunacigars.com, uh, provided us with uh, some cigars that uh, you've seen previously from us. Uh, they've been in business as usual, has been telling you folks about it for over 30 years, online retailer that ships worldwide. Um, no issues whatsoever, I've been dealing with them uh, for the longest time. Um, so without further ado, Check them out, folks. The link, site, the, the link to the website is below, as you can see. Today, uh, we're going with the H. Upman. Uh, H. Upman, obviously, for, for cigar connoisseurs and mostly Cuban connoisseurs, will know that it is uh, among the oldest in the uh, uh, cigar industry. Uh, it has been established in the 1844 by uh, the banker. Uh, I can't forget his name. I believe it's Herman. Yeah, Herman Upman in Havana. Uh, who actually, uh, uh, people say that he has pioneered the uh, cedar box uh, to package, uh, package cigars. So today it's the Magnum 46 as you can see here. Uh, the length, we're talking about 5 and a 6 inches. Uh, ring gauge obviously 46 for the Magnum uh, 46. So we're going to go ahead, light, cut, and uh, give you our uh, opinion on this one. So uh, stay tuned folks. Right off the bat, it looks to be very smooth. It's a strong, earthy flavor. Um, it's too soon, I guess, to get into the description, to be honest. Okay, so let's let's go through the first third, folks, and um, we'll get back to you. All right, folks, back with the uh, first third of the H. Opman uh, Magnum 46. I have to say, it's very, very tasty. Eh? I wasn't expecting it to be. Uh, uh, as tasty as this uh, leathery I have to say um, with the hints of, of there is some hints of sweetness that I'm not able to pick up to say what exactly it is uh, but it, it definitely uh, so far what we're getting out of it it's it's a leathery uh, earthy with some sweetness into it interesting um, actually, I have to say it's even tastier than the 54 as far as, as tastes so far. So, uh, I'll continue to the second third and see what, uh, what's going to bring for us. Alright folks, back with the uh, second third of the uh, H. Opman Magnum uh, 46. Uh, brought, brought to you by uh, Montefortuna.com um, We talked about the uh, leathery uh, flavor, we talked about uh, some sort of sweetness, uh, most definitely I'd say up to now probably say cinnamon. Uh, you could add to it a little bit of, of nuttiness, uh, you can feel that. Uh, like, not sure if it's mostly on the walnut or, or uh, you know something else but, but I'd have to say probably walnut. Uh, not bad very very tasty very 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 tasty impressive though uh more into the medium full because we start to feel the transition now and from the medium to the full bodied uh once you hit the second third but uh as far as as uh, uh construction as far as as draw uh not bad at all not bad at all uh a little bit it started to canoe but it did correct itself so we're gonna leave it at that it will probably correct itself again if not i'll, I'll go ahead and touch it but uh so far so good stay tuned folks all right, folks, ending up with the H. Opman uh, 46. Uh, very tasty. All right, it's, a, it's packed with flavor, folks. Uh, towards the end, we feel the transition from medium to a full-bodied, uh, in a sense of, of the flavors that we're getting. I mean, the leathery, uh, I could say that the leathery, it's consistent from um, the first third, second third, last third, it's actually went up a notch you'll feel it there's this some sort of a bitterness that you actually get um, on your um, on your on your palate you feel it so the spiciness it's still there 
the retrohale, you don't feel it as much. You know, you don't have an itchy nose or anything, but you do feel it as well. Uh, the sweet notes faded out completely. Also, uh, like I said, we don't, we don't we don't get that. Maybe hints of cedar notes, maybe some sort of a wood taste into it that you could add towards the end. Uh, but overall. You know what? It's not bad. It's not bad for, for people that would smoke this uh, on a regular basis, maybe. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a Corona size, so it's not... Like I said, I'm not a big fan, but that doesn't mean it's not a good stick or it's a tasty stick. So, you could say that, yeah, doable. That's uh, not bad at all for the Magnum 46. So, this is it, folks. If you're uh, interested, you liked it. Uh, you want to try it, feel free, double check them, check MontyFortuna.com and uh, you can get some details on it. See you soon, folks.